What's going on today guys? My name is Jaden X and today we're going to go over my newest album Destin which is available on all major streaming platforms Apple Music, Spotify, iTunes and we are going to go and talk about the reasons why I wrote the songs that I did and the meaning behind the lyrics. So let's get started. So I wrote this album Destined about a woman that I love and I'm not gonna tell you who they are but they know who they are and I wanted to express my love for them and my feelings for them and the different stages of emotions that you go through in any relationship and also I wanted to make this album for people to know that they're not alone in those feelings and for her to know that she's not alone in those feelings as well. Also, I wanted to express the different emotions that one can feel and go through during love itself because love is not always about happiness and joy. It's also about sadness and heartbreak and hardship, but it's what makes all of those things come together that truly resembles what love is because in any loving relationship, you're going to go through good times and bad times. And it's about working through those good times and bad times that become a greater love for both of you to bond over. And so that's what this is album is about, is about through all of the hardships that there is a lot of good things that come from it. And there's a lot of growth that comes from each individual who is inputting into any given relationship that can come to a greater point of love and understanding for one another. So the first song on this album is Everything I Can't Control. And this song specifically talks about all the things you can't control in a relationship and all the feelings that you feel that you cannot control, all the feelings that the other person that you love cannot control. And this is supposed to express those emotions and those conflicts that you feel within yourself and within the relationship and within love. And it's how you come to an understanding of each other and how each other loves that sort of connects you with one another and how it grows your love together. And so let's go ahead and listen. It's a light at the end of the road. It's a light on the way home. It's darkness inside, time to realize that it will all pass. Free yourself from here I wrote you no know, free yourself from all the pain is something I wrote because within love there's pain out of misunderstanding for the love for one another and sometimes you just want to let that go you want to let go of the pain you want to let go of the the sorrow that you have and the hurt that you have and sometimes you just want to give up on the relationship itself and I express that through these lyrics about freeing yourself from all the pain, you know, sometimes it hurts so bad that people just want to run away from it and to not face it. But I have learned that the only way to overcome the pain is to have a greater understanding with the other individual who has caused you that pain, because most times it's just a misconception of the pain that you're feeling, of the hurt that you're feeling and it's not truly how that other person uh, wants you to feel. And so by, you know, trying to free yourself from all the pain, you are able to come to a greater understanding of love for the person that you love. stop here and talk about never give your heart you're the one I love I think that you know this speaks a lot to me on how you're afraid to put your heart out there how you're afraid to give your heart to somebody else 
because it's vulnerability that more often than not prevents you from truly expressing love in a relationship. And you have to take a chance on people. You have to put your trust in somebody. And by putting yourself out there and being vulnerable and giving your heart to somebody, it's uh, opening yourself up to heartbreak and hurt. And so that's what I meant by never give your heart. And then it follows, you're the one I love. And that's just a contradict to the turmoil that one feels inside when you're trying to decide whether or not to open yourself up and to be vulnerable with that person, that you're caught in a place of, I love you, I don't love you. I want to trust you, I don't trust you. But the truly love you have to trust in the other person. And so that's what I wanted to write about here. In the beginning stages of a relationship, you're basically conflicted with you know your inner love for somebody on opening up, being vulnerable, and giving that love to that person completely and totally. My soul is the darkness inside of my heart. It's taking me away. I can't explain all the pain. The darkness inside my soul is taking me away. I want to stop there because, you know, I wrote, you know, it's evil inside my soul. It's a darkness inside my heart. It's taking me away. I can't explain all the pain. That's basically to talk about all the pain that you've felt prior to this, right? All the relationships that have come and gone, all the ones that have failed, all the pain that you have felt through those, all the pain that you have felt through trusting people and them letting you down, the darkness that's inside that's preventing you from opening up and loving this person completely and it really trying to express myself in the fact that the darkness that is inside me, inside my heart is trying to come out and prevent me from expressing my total and complete and undying love for this person. And so right here, all the pain and the darkness that's inside my soul that's taking me away is pulling me away from the love. It's pulling me away from the relationship and I'm doing everything that I can to fight against that and to fight against myself from trying to pull away, from trying to isolate myself and shut down uh, because that's uh, something I deal with is, you know, when I get hurt, I shut down. And when I get hurt, I, I don't communicate that. And so one of the things personally is I've worked on opening myself up and communicating even during the harder times of expressing myself and wanting to do that and being vulnerable, I've really worked on, on doing just that. So that's what these lyrics mean to me. And I feel like a lot of people can relate. Love my mind, I can't stay sane, I can't stay insane. I'm trying to find a way to escape from all this pain, but I can't see. there because there's a lot of things I say here. There's a lot of uh, things that coexist with the prior lyrics that give you a greater understanding of the meaning everything I can't control, right? Because everything inside me making me confused. I don't know what to do. I'm feeling a little abused. You like to use me. I'm just trying to find a way through life. Basically, my thoughts, my feelings behind that, you're giving me these mixed emotions. You're unsure about your feelings as well. And this is for the other person that's expressing their love to you. They go through the same thing, right? Often more times than not, they're unsure of where the relationship's going, unsure about where you, know, you are. And so both of you are in a state of turmoil within yourself and you're trying to discover the love for you know, one another, the love that you have, the love that you want to give and to open up or to not open up. And sometimes people shut down. Sometimes people will abuse you through that. And to me, I felt that a lot in a lot of my prior relationships. And so in these words, I'm trying to express that, you know, I felt hurt. I felt pain. I felt 
uh, abuse emotionally through various relationships where love is not reciprocated, where communication is not there. And so I feel alone and isolated and those things instill sort of a traumatization within your mind and the fear that it it could occur again and so this is me sort of projecting myself projecting my fears onto the other person which is unfair to them and so i'm just trying to find right my way through life is uh the following lyrics is I'm just trying to find my way. I'm trying to find myself. I'm trying to work through those emotions. I'm telling myself, it's all right. I don't know where to go from here. And I don't know what to fear because I don't know this person's love yet. I don't know how they love. And so I don't know how they act. What am I supposed to fear from this relationship? Is there anything to fear? And uh, that's just the the self-doubt, the paranoia. And a lot of people I think can relate to the fear of something new. I'm losing my mind. I, I, I. I think the closing lyrics is basically very important to this song specifically. I'm losing my mind, right? And before it says everything I can't control, everything I can't control, I'm losing my mind. It's basically expressing that I am so confused I don't know what to believe. I think that this person's giving me the signals that I'm looking for of love and acceptance, but also they're giving me signals that, you know, it's hesitation and I don't know if I should be hesitant. I don't know if I should commit. And so I'm trying to debate within myself, should I give myself fully to this person? Should I open up fully? Am I willing to to trust them? Am I willing to trust myself enough to give them the, the trust and love that they deserve? And so that's what that expresses is the confusion that both people are admitting within a relationship. And it feels like you're you're losing your mind and you, you can't really control that sometimes. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I hope that you kind of got a better sense of how I love, how I feel through the words and lyrics that I have written in this album. And you can pick this up on all major streaming platforms, Destined by Jaden X. It's a light at the end of the road.